Hello guys. Recently I went to YouTube Spaces to film, but due to mechanical error I lost the footage. So um, it's just not showing up on the chip in the camera I have, and I think it's because it's way lower quality than the cameras at the YouTube Spaces. But instead of going over there and editing, I decided just to refilm the Q&A here from home. And so this is going to be quite a bit of a lengthy video because I'm going to be answering some questions and then after that I'm going to do a viewer appreciation slideshow where I show some of the um, pictures that you guys have tagged me on on Instagram. So let's get started. <clears throat> One of the biggest questions I get is about where I get my, my materials. I'm asked most often about the powdered food coloring. Now I have a few different here. The long ones like this was just in a primary color pack and it's just at regular cooking shows, it's uh, cooking stores, it's from Chef Master. And the ones where they have a huge range of colors I get from Global Sugar Art and they carry a few different kinds. These are both from Global Sugar Art. The cutters that I use that have the, um, the release here, I get those online at um, called the Clay Factory. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box so you could find it. And I really do like them. There's, they're called Kemper Pattern Cutters. And I heard that there's some Etsy sellers that sell them as well, if you prefer to go that route. Um, one of the other questions I get is where I get my Martha Stewart micro beads. Unfortunately, guys, these have been discontinued. Um, I don't know why they've been discontinued, but my guess is that a lot of the big craft stores, one of them that's a huge craft store that carried Martha Stewart, all of a sudden they started trying to find factories to create the exact same things, and um, they have it under their own label now. So I think that that probably gave the Martha Stewart brand a huge hit and not enough um, revenue being generated to make it worthwhile for them to keep them. So um, now if you want to get them, you're going to have to look for a brand called Recollections and they also have the micro beads. Um, I still have a lot of the Martha Stewart so I haven't had to buy them yet but um, Recollections is now who has micro beads. The glass micro beads, um, I hope that someday we can get Martha Stewart to reproduce them again because something that I loved about it is that they're all very consistent. They're all about the same size. I'm sorry, I have a little owie on my finger. I know that's probably gross to look at. But the Recollections version are not consistent. Um, I don't know if you could see in here, but there's some that are really big, there's some that are really, really tiny in there. So it's just not as consistent in texture as the Martha Stewart is. Um, so Michael's is where I tend to go for my clay. Uh, Creative Wholesale is where I get my huge bottles of translucent liquid Sculpey. And then um, Fimo Deco Gel, I've just been having to get those on Amazon online. Um, one of the other questions I get a huge amount is um, about the Walnut Hollow Extruder and fitting in the tips because a lot of you have noticed that a normal Wilton tip, this is how it looks like inside the Walnut Hollow cap. It's not going to screw all the way on guys it will screw on just a little bit. You're not going to get it on very far. So what I do is I exclude, I extrude and I just use scrap clay for this. I put scrap clay in the extruder before putting the cap on and I force it through and that's going to start bending it. Then I unscrew it, clean it out, remove the tip, I put more scrap clay in and I twist it back on and eventually the pressure of the clay forcing through the tip um, will literally bend it. So that's how I get them to fit so well. I just wanted you to show, to show you the difference. But as that happens, it actually will screw on much further. It will screw on much further back. 
as it's getting bent. So I wanted to show that to you. Okay. So another question I get is why I make things in multiples. Uh, the most recent time I was asked was why I, I make things in multiples now that I've closed my shop. But I wanted to discuss why I do things in multiples overall, and then I'll touch on why I make multiples for the shop. The first thing is that I don't like wasting clay. I just don't. So when I condition clay, I use it up as much as I can. So I used up all the chocolate color that I made in order to create as many chocolate squares as possible. Now, um, just because I'm not doing Etsy doesn't mean I won't do fairs when I build up enough volume. But for instance, see these pieces of bread aren't sandwiches yet. And I am not making them in huge quantities like I did for Etsy. Uh, but I am going to be trying to make several because um, I have mentioned before that I'm on Patreon now. And the top two monthly um, amounts that can be donated, those um, are including surprise packages. So here were the sandwiches, for instance, that I've made so far for August. I'm going to extend that into September, so you'll see some sandwiches coming out in September, too, as tutorials. But um, August is the first month that I really launched my uh, Patreon campaign. And the s'mores are actually something kind of special to me. Uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed that it is the top of my channel page. It is the top on the Patreon. It's the top in my um, Etsy shop. Well, at least it used to be. I might have had that changed a while ago. But um, it's the very first charm bracelet I made that was um, had all the crystals. And I really love making those charm bracelets. I feel that they're a little bit more sophisticated. They have crystals. Um, sometimes they have glass. They have the Swarovskis. Sometimes freshwater pearls. So, this is also one of the best sellers I had in the shop. Whether it was um, some more friendship necklaces. Um, just regular charms. I've sold them as stitch markers. But being one of my very top sellers, I really, I, it's just kind of a sentimental set that I've made. So I decided for everybody who had signed up um, throughout the month of August, after the first, um, after the first donation is made at the very beginning of September, because they take the money out at the beginning of the following month for the previous month, that, um, the people signing up in the first month was going to get these as just an additional thank you for signing up on Patreon um, for that $9 and $15 level. Um, in addition, on this time around, the people will be seeing um, at least one sandwich charm. And then after that, it's Blast from the Past, which Blast from the Past is meaning that there's going to be a charm from a past um, month. So it's not going to be from the previous month. It can be from any time before, from when I first started my, um, my tutorials all the way through current. So um, the very first ones the very first monthly package is going to have six charms total. So it will have the full S'more collection, it will have um, one of the charms from August, and then it will have a charm as a bus from the past. And I will be choosing these um, individually. The blast from the past is going to be different from everybody. I'm not going to be giving everybody the same thing. So kind of like a little goodie surprise. So you never know what the blast from the past will be. For normal months, when I ship them, you're going to be getting two charms from the previous month, not one. And then there will be the blast from the past, and that's at a minimum. And more often than not, there will be four charms in a month. Sometimes there will be three if it was something very, very detailed. But um, most of the time, there will be four charms a month. 
unless I'm actually sharing materials because a lot of you are here for my tutorials and once I get ahead <clears throat> and I'm able to plan into the future I would actually like to start sending out materials for something I'm going to do in a future tutorial the following month so for example say I'm doing some cute little um, object that requires microbeads in October and um, then what I might do is go ahead and you guys could provide the clay that you're working with but I'll provide a little tiny package of microbeads so you don't have to buy the full microbeads. That will happen occasionally with um, new materials but I just wanted to kind of explain why I'm doing multiples so right now I continue doing multiples because on Patreon I'm going to be sending out charms every month um, the reason I did it before was to build stock and to keep from wasting materials and I can't tell you how much it is, it is um, how much easier it makes it running a shop for instance if you sell a charm uh, a s'more charm or a, f a full s'more set you can relist it right away and not worry because you have enough components to sell another one immediately. Yeah, the first 16 people will be able to have the full s'more collection that signs up. Um, oh yes, about the uh, <laughs> our crazy long um, suggestion list. I was asked if we take if I take suggestions still. The way that that works out is I have a very long, long suggestion list and I add to it any time somebody makes a suggestion for the first time. So if one of you guys ask for candy corn, well that's already been suggested so I'm not writing it down on the list that's new. But if you are suggesting something that hasn't been suggested before, like, um, uh, um, let's see it could even be very specific like for instance somebody could have suggested cheesecake but if you say oh well I want raspberry cheesecake well raspberry cheesecake hasn't been suggested and I will take very specific things for instance somebody wrote cupcake but I just recently had vanilla cupcake as a suggestion so I added that I will include the list to the suggestion list in the link below uh, don't worry, if, it, if you're not able to access it immediately, that's because um, when too many are people are trying to access it at a time, um, it just bounces anybody additional out. So you could come back and check back another time and that's fine. Um, the way that you see if a suggestion has been made is hit Control and F at the same time and it will open a window on the um, right hand side at the top of the, the um, document and just type in the food then you can scan down and any food with that name will be highlighted so you can read through the highlighted area and see if it um, if it's taken truly or if you have some sort of an alternate I mean right now I think there's probably about 30 pages of suggestions on that list but I do go through that list and I um, actually do take some of those suggestions and make them you'll notice there's a name before each suggestion and that was the first person that suggested it and when I do do a tutorial from the list I will put that name down usually it's the YouTube person's username so um, so that way if you do see that in a video what I do is for anything small like a charm if you suggested it first and your name appears in there contact me because you get that as a complimentary charm as a way of saying thank you for making the suggestion since I made it so that's how the suggestion work list is working oh my gosh I'm sorry guys I don't know why my phone is going crazy let's see the other thing was collaborations um, I do get questions about whether I'll do collaborations or not, and I do try to do collaborations when I can. Um, basically, what you want to do is just write me. You can email me, and my email um, address is on the About page, on my About page for my YouTube channel. So you can just go ahead and copy my email address and email me. Uh, what I'm going to do now is a viewer appreciation slideshow. I actually really want to do this once a month if we have enough photos. 
So if you do want to show me something that was inspired by me or one of my tutorials, go ahead and you can um, on Instagram tag Heather Wells, you know, hashtag. So you could do Heather Wells and you can do um, Sweet and Savory Trinkets because Sweet and Savory Trinkets was my store name. That's what my actual Instagram username is. I will check both each month. And um, so if I see a photo there of one of the foods that were inspired by me, I will put it up at the end of the video. I'm thinking that if we have at least five each month that I will do a slideshow for that month. Thank you so much and I will be making videos again soon. Uh, I've been a little bit behind because the kids are going back to school but I'll be doing some more uh, tutorials soon. Thanks guys. Bye.